Hey friends, I received a mystery package from my friend Heidi. Um, supposedly as a bit of thanks for allowing me to allowing them to stay with me during MTAC. So I am super excited to dig into this box and show you guys what was sent. I will caveat this with Heidi is an employee of a particular stationary company. So most of the products, if not all of the products, in fact, probably all of the products do come from that stationary product uh, company. I am in no way affiliated with them, but my friend is. So this isn't an endorsement video, just me super excitedly sharing a gift with you guys since I figure it's art supplies. I already went ahead and blacked out all of, or almost all of, I guess I should have blacked out the tracking info too. I already went ahead and blocked out all of the relevant important information. And you guys are just gonna have to forgive my voice. I got terribly sick and I'm still recovering. But needs must, I couldn't well let this box just sit unopened for a week and a half, right? Oh, cool. So inside we have what is probably a packing list. I will set that aside. And honestly, some very much needed packing materials. Someone brought their bow to me to be repaired at MTAC. Whoa, lots of cool stuff. Oh, cool. Papers in here. That's good to know. I'm glad they wrote it on there. And they packaged it really well. And this was sent directly from the company, at least according to the tag, so. I would love to give Heidi credit for packaging the paper so well. And it is quite possible as an employee that it was Heidi who packaged the paper so well. But everything was very nicely packaged for transit so that it would all arrive safe and sound and not, you know, leaky and ruined and in a million pieces. So I did have some idea of what was being sent since Heidi asked me what I wanted. But a lot of this is also a surprise. Ooh, so, oh, those are cool. I like the packaging on those. These are the metallic Poscas. I have the pastel Poscas, Heidi sent me those. And I also have the fine tip Poscas and then the regular 20 Poscas. And Poscas are really popular with artists right now. They're using it like wash since it's basically a poster paint and it's a water-based paint. So I look forward to exploring these with you guys in a bit. And then we get gold and silver as well. Oh, cool. Okay, these are art erase colors. So they're like, decently erasable color pencils, which is really neat because I have, I've used a few erasable color pencils, including the Crayola ones. And I've not been impressed by those, but Mitsubishi makes a lot of really nice, surprisingly, I know. A lot of us think of it as a car company, but they make all kinds of things and they do make art supplies. And then these are the Sakura Decoris. And these are supposed to write on anything. And I'm excited about these because I do a lot of stuff with wooden charms, which is what I use Poscas for. Um, and I can actually show you guys, how do these open? I can actually show you guys some of the resulting wooden charms, but I thought the Deco Reese would be really cool for adding small details. And plus Heidi has talked these up a lot. Like seriously, anytime somebody needs to like make a small fine point mark on something, Heidi whips one of these out from their pencil case and is like, sha sha sha. So it's like pink, white, blue, yellow, purple. Ooh, cute colors. And then like a sherbet, a lime green and orange, a blue, and then a light pink. The packaging is also like ridiculously cute. 
and they both have a 0.6 millimeter tip so they're fairly fine tipped and then paper I don't know what it is though ah now I do okay Claire Fontaine hot press watercolor paper awesome thank you so much excited about that and then what are you Claire Fontaine carbon light resistant oh it's light resistance okay oh you know what when I was an undergrad I used to use arches would make a black cotton uh, printmaking paper and I bet they use some similar techniques to that and then Claire Fontaine cold press so that's really cool especially because I've noticed the Claire Fontaine watercolor paper I'd noticed it first on mass drop in fact and I'd wanted to play with it, but I didn't want to spend $50 to get a package of it. And it was also huge. So I am super excited to show you guys how all these goodies work in kind of a demo. Let's start with the Posca pens. They're so cute. I love the glitter caps. I am going to go ahead and unwrap them all. But I'm going to get one primed and started for you guys. So we do that. Oh, that was quick. Oh, it's so shimmery. Those are nice. So I'm going to do that with all of them. Promise I will do swatching for all of these in a few minutes. I just want to get them all kind of going. So next I'm going to do the silver and gold. But from the little bit of testing I've already done with the glitter, they are really cute. And these fine tips are, I like the fine tips. I have them in like the basic Posca colors, but I really like the silver, the gold, and the glitter colors. Those are really cute. And Posca can, walk, uh, can draw on almost anything. Plastic, wood, I mean. And once they're dry, they're pretty permanent. You can seal them with like Krylon just to prevent them from scraping off, but they're great for labeling things as well. All right, and then I want to... Okay, so these have colored names on them. I was sent Van Dyke Brown, Black, Sepia, and Burnt Sienna. So I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen these, but they're really nice. The finish on them is super smooth, comfortable in the hand, shouldn't splinter. The tops are really nice. They just, they look really nice. So I am going to sharpen them and then grab and then grab an eraser. Here we have my handy dandy ever so wonderful Canson XL mixed media swatch book, which should be pretty much perfect for everything we're going to be taking a look at today. So let's start with our glittery glittery Pascas. And these are actually glittery. They're not necessarily metallic. Um, Poster Man, Kurtaki Poster Man makes metallic markers. In fact, I have a really old Art Snacks video where I'm taking a look at the Poster Mans. So if you want like a true metallic sheen, these aren't the ones you're looking for. But if you want glitter sparkle effects, these are great. And my experience with Poscas in the past has been when they dry, they dry matte. And if you want them to have some sort of a sheen or a gloss to them, then you use a sealant on them. Or you could even use something like um, Ranger makes a, a resin sort of clear additive that you can put on top afterwards. Or if you're feeling cheap, you could even just use a top coat like a clear nail polish. Anyway, there are lots of options for making your Posca markers shiny because they're like poster paints. And I've played around with Poscas quite a bit and I've had the best results with them on my wooden charms, on uh, mini canvases that have been gessoed and on things with a plastic surface. So like a paper is designed for acrylics basically anything that won't absorb the water too quickly and leaves you time to kind of blend the colors. 
and I have a video here on this channel where I'm doing a little tiny Amaterasu painting and I have another video where I'm doing a little tiny kitty cat face so as you guys might be able to see I'm trying to work wet into wet because I do want some blending. The paper is starting to, to pill. It's because this is not really the right kind of paper for wet into wet blending with Posca markers. And I knew that going in, but I did want to demonstrate it since so many artists are really interested in using Poscas for their art and maybe having trouble finding papers that work for them. I would love to play with Poscas on a polypropylene paper, so like Cupo or like a stone-based paper. Now I'm going to try blending them out with water. If you are kind of stuck with a non-optimal paper, there's a few other tricks you can have up your sleeve. They do blend out with water and you can allow them to dry and then layer on top of them. And if anybody's interested, I can kind of do a Posca's 101 video. And I may actually have a Posca's 101 video. I do have a review video of the basic Posca's, but I could do a video where I do an overview of all the Posca's that I own. And if you're looking for some great inspiration, uh, Matt Cummings has kind of repopularized Posca's as a poster paint medium. And I believe his handle is Eiffel Art. And I would be horrifically remiss in a video with art supplies sent from a friend, not to talk about the friend's art. You guys should definitely check out Heidi's art. She's a phenomenal comic artist and is currently working on a graphic novel series with an, a writer called Sons of Fire, which is just really great, you guys can pick it up on Amazon. She also has an art book on Amazon where she walks you through how she does everything that she does. And it's the art of Heidi, like Electric Abyss, the art of Heidi Black. And I'll make sure to pop links in the description below so you guys can check all of Heidi's work out. Those of you in California may have seen her at shows. And those of you who enjoy doing MTAC have probably met her a couple of times. Also check Heidi Black's art out at Electric Abyss. So um, electricabyss.com or instagram.com slash electric abyss. Whoa, okay, you wanna be leaky. All right, probably over pump the silver and the gold. The silver and the gold are a little more flaky than some metallic pens like they're more flaky than the Marvy deco color this is a really great um gold pen the problem is it's alcohol based so it will not work on there's certain surfaces you don't want to use this on uh the Marvy liquid chrome is very similar and the Marvy liquid liquid chrome oh i may have used it to death which would be sad it does not like um uncoated papers but it will mark on pretty pretty much anything else. Same goes for, well, no. The deco color is a pretty good gold, but it's not suitable for everything because it is alcohol-based and it has very strong fumes. You also can't blend it out with water and it's a little frustrating to blend it out with rubbing alcohol but you can blend the metallic Poscas out with water. So you can get a gradient out of it. And I'll let that dry. Next, I'm gonna move on to the decorese. 
And for these, I kind of want to, I'm going to bring in a sub just to demonstrate how these will write on just about anything. So this is a Winsor Newton watercolor sketchbook has never, hasn't been unwrapped, right? So it's plastic. Oh, I have to get these started. I see. So they've got a little bit of film on them. Should probably not do it like that, but. And then supposedly once it's dry, it's permanent, it won't smear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch my Deca Reese colors here in this notebook and then I'll swatch them on that plastic just to give you guys an idea. So it's a bit of like wax or plastic just to keep them from drying out in transit. And then before we switch to the other set, I'll take some gold and I'm working over the area that I'd previously swatched out, blended out the silver. So there was silver sparkle down there. Now I'm gonna blend the gold over into the silver just to demonstrate another blending technique. All right, now we're grabbing the other Deco Reset. So these aren't for like, they're not really intended for like normal gel pin, normal ballpoint pin use, right? They're not like, yes, you can use them to write notes to your friends or, you know, and that's what I used to use light color gel pins for when I was a kid. You can, but it's kind of a waste. That's not really the intention for these. These are good for marking things. So like writing your name on your scissors, for example, or decorating your plastic cell phone case. Or we'd use them at Ape one year to mark whose black connector pieces were whose. So if something has a surface that is typically indelible, I'm sorry, typically will not, the opposite of indelible, delible? <laughs> a surface that is typically non-marking. These are the solution to that problem. So, yeah, no smearing. Now let's add a little water and see if it'll move with water. No, the gold from the Posca is coming out, but they are not moving. So once this is, ah, but if you don't let them dry, they pick up. So like ever so many things, Poscas, pit pins, decorese markers are indelible once they're dry but until then you can wipe them off. So this is our Posca marker rainbow from earlier. 
we can indeed mark over our Poscom rainbow with Deco Reese colors. So for me, this is really cool because I can add all kinds of fine details now to my wooden charms. Really up my charm game. So these are really cool. And this is not something your average, I mean, Sakura makes a lot of really cool products. This is not something your average jelly roll is gonna be able to do. It's not something your average uni signo is gonna be able to do. This is something that Decorese markers are, Decorese uh, gel pins are specifically designed to do. So we have a final claim to test. These are art erase colors. And Heidi was kind enough to kind of send them in classy colors so they can be actually used. What I like about like kind of classic blacks and browns is that they can be used to do classy sort of master study-esque things. And you really don't need that many colors to do it. I'm not even really attempting to blend. They handle like normal color pencils like they're soft, they're nice. I kind of thought they were gonna, they were polychromos at first, and I was like, all right, I mean. And while they don't erase perfectly, they do erase a lot. Now, I assume if you go ahead and burnish them, or if you go ahead and use a blender on them, and maybe they make a blender, I really don't know much about this, but I'm definitely gonna look into it that probably changes the erasing property since you're adding wax, you're adding other materials. But I would assume as long as you stay within this product brand, it should all be erasable. All right, so I put a lot more pigment on the paper. Still pretty erasable. So those are really cool. They would be good for sketching, for underdrawing, that sort of thing. The colors are also really nice, flexible colors. So the surprise reveal, which is probably not surprising to most of you guys, is that these were all from JetPins. Heidi works for JetPins um, and she's really enthusiastic about their products. So I want to thank Heidi so much for sending me all of these goodies and for visiting me during MTAC. I hope MTAC was a good show for you. And I hope you guys will check out Heidi's work at electricabyss.com, at instagram.com slash electricabyss, at electricabyss. Well, it's either electricabyss or Heidi M. Black. Let me double, let me double check really quick. Nope. Yes, okay. Heidi's Tumblr is heidiblack.tumblr.com. Heidi is a fantastic artist, a fantastic comic artist, is as passionate about art supplies as I am, definitely very knowledgeable about art supplies as well. So I highly recommend you check out their art and you follow their work. And I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and checking out all of these really cool art supplies. I am really excited about getting to play with them. And I hope to see you guys again really soon with another video. So have a great day, guys. Bye.